Turning to video eight, additional clinical tips for treating schizophrenia in children and adolescents. Selection of antipsychotic agents for initial treatment is typically based on FDA approval status, side effect profile, patient and family preferences, clinician familiarity, and cost. In general, when starting treatment with antipsychotic medication, patients should be started on the lowest possible dose and be closely monitored for emergent side effects. Dosage needs to be gradually increased to the effective therapeutic dose that's the lowest that takes care of the symptoms without side effects. Please, please start low and go slow. Trials of antipsychotic medication should be used at maximum tolerable therapeutic doses for at least six to eight weeks. If a patient fails to respond to particular antipsychotic medication, you need to evaluate treatment adherence, compliance with the medication before you change the medication. And if non-compliance, non-adherence is the cause of non-response or contributing to the non-response, then appropriate measures must be taken to ensure there's treatment adherence with the medication. If the patient is compliant and there is still no adequate therapeutic response, a different antipsychotic should be considered. Treatment with clozapine is indicated after two or more failed trials of first-line antipsychotics. Trials with clozapine should be used at the maximal tolerable dose for at least three to six months. All patients prescribed antipsychotic agents should be advised of the importance of a healthy lifestyle including cessation of smoking, healthy diet, and routine exercise. If significant weight gain or evidence of metabolic syndrome, obesity, hypertension, dyslipidemia, and insulin resistance, consider switching to a different antipsychotic with lower metabolic risk or adding an agent that targets metabolic problems such as metformin. The onset of any clinically significant abnormalities such as hypercholesterolemia should be targeted or specific treatment and may require referral for specialty care. Extrapyramidal side effects may occur with traditional or atypical agents. Use of prophylactic anti-Parkinsonian agents may be considered to avoid acute extrapyramidal side effects, especially in those at risk for acute dystonias or with a history of dystonic reaction. The need for anti-Parkinsonian agents should be reevaluated after the acute phase of treatment or if doses are lowered because many patients do not need them during long-term therapy. Key take-home points. The selection of which antipsychotic agents to use for initial treatment is typically based on FDA approval status, side effect profile, patient and family preferences, clinician familiarity, and cost. In general, when starting treatment with an antipsychotic, patients should be started on the lowest possible dose. The dosage should be gradually increased to the minimal effective therapeutic dose. A trial of an antipsychotic medication should be used at the maximum tolerable therapeutic doses for at least six to eight weeks. If the patient is compliant and there is still no adequate therapeutic response, a different antipsychotic should be considered. Treatment with clozapine is indicated after two or more failed trials of first-line antipsychotics.